Okay, hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio and welcome to my weekly live stream, Kathy Makes a Card. I, uh, it's good to see you all checking in today. I see lots of friends, lots of people that I love seeing here today and I'm glad to have you. And I want you to know I can actually see your name, your comments so much bigger now because Santa brought me a big monitor. So I have a big monitor. Now the comments are right under my camera and I'm very happy about that. But we're gonna get into it today because I have I have some plans and then I'll tell you the story about losing my bra and why that's a problem. I know, see, if you're catching me for the first time, my name is Kathy Zilski. I make cards on the internet. Um, live streams are different. They're a little looser. They're a little floatier. Things are less planned, although today I had to do some planning in advance. So welcome to this. Uh, if this is your first time catching me live, every Wednesday at noon central. Okay. I'm gonna go to the table and then I'm gonna tell you some things. Okay, first of all, I have my fuse set up because I, I know many of you are fans of Gina K. Let's be real, we're all fans of Gina, I love Gina. Good person, good products, but mostly good person. You know, she's a great, she's a great one. So last night I'm watching her and I'm like, okay, I have some toner card fronts, okay? And I have some really pretty, sparkly, fancy foils. And I thought what I would do today is make a panel. I'm gonna cut some things out. I'm going to use this bubble burst plate. And I've already cut some of these out so that I have some to fill. And I also have my little my little champagne flute die. Now this is sold out currently, but I spoke with the people, the good folks at Simon's Stamp, and they'll be back in stock next Friday. I think this is a great thing for New Year's, but also for just weddings and celebrations. I guess it sold really well. So that's good for me because then Simon wants to keep me around. Okay, and then I also have my little banners. So these are all things that I wanna you know, work in. And, and oh, and, and I also wanna show you one thing because I just saw Nancy, Nancy Carrot's name. Uh, Frankie sent me a post-it note picker upper today that I picked up at my PO box. Apparently Nancy Carrot had something to do with that, but it just, uh, it arrived as a gift from Frankie. Okay. Okay. So let's get, let's get started. So the, I'm going to tell you a story while we do this. Uh, I, I need my good bra today because uh, one of the editors at the Pioneer Press, one of our local papers, her name is Molly Guthrie. Um, I've known Molly for a long time. She and I have uh, worked together. She's done a couple stories on me over the years. They're hilarious. They're they're riveting. Anyway, she's doing another story on me, and she's coming. She's coming here today at 1.30 with her news people, and her news people are going to take pictures of me here in my studio and they wanted to come during the live stream, but I told her, you know, if if you if you come during the live stream, you're just gonna see the back of my head. It's really, you know, and it would make me nervous. And so I decided, Molly, just just come later. All right, let me grab a Swiffer cloth. Um, did I have a baby one? Well, I did. I had a little Swiffer cloth cut, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this lovely thing, this piece of toner. We're gonna cover it with shine. Um, also, if you wanna see something hilarious, and also, can I greet my, my moderators, Emma and Beth, who keep me on track and who are fabulous people. Um, they will remind me, oh, Molly's here. Hey, Molly, see you soon. See, this is, yeah, anyway. So, uh, uh, they will remind me. I'll post a link to Molly's first article. Okay, number one, a long time ago, very thin, very short hair. I look back at that picture. I didn't even wear glasses. So that's how long ago it was. Okay. We are going to make a whole panel of this foil. All right. And I, well, I guess it will have to be what this size because I'm going to cut a cover plate just like Gina did. Now I have this really pretty cover plate that is all bubbles. Okay. And, uh, it's, 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 it is like a baby picture. Um, yeah, I looked, uh, I looked a little different. Looked a little different back then. Smoked like a train, never ate. Who knew? That's not me today, um, <laughs> which is all good. Okay, um, the audio is terrible. Um, Carol, what do you mean? Is the audio terrible for everyone? Um, you may want to check your, um, I have my mic. The levels seem to be okay. Can someone let me know if the audio is okay? 
because I just saw someone say it's terrible. Um, and that kind of makes me panic. Um, hey, Gina K, look what I got. Okay, thank you, Gina. I have my fuse today. And again, these, these are coming back. You can use any laminator with these toner fronts. See, Gina, I watched you last night and you made me want a toner front. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, thank you. Sometimes um, there could be something set uh, on your audio that makes it sound weird. But when I catch those comments, I just want to address them. But here's what we're going to do. I am going to turn the front of this into one shiny panel and I guess I'll get as close as I can because I my theme is a champagne glass right and so what if I had this beautiful foil to die cut all right and uh and Gina I know you keep people updated but they're doing their best to keep um oh I didn't wipe this part of the foil hold on hold on see Gina I've learned um Gina K Designs and her uh, staff are doing the best they can to keep people updated on when the fuses are coming back in stock, and they will. You can also do this with a mink, of course, and if you had another laminator, as long as it gets really hot, you can do that too. Okay, so here's what we're doing. This toner front, yeah, I think we're good. We're going to run it through because I am going to die cut this panel that I'm about to show you in a minute out of this now, and I might do two, but we'll see. I, I have some ideas. Um, oh, Jan Gina says, okay, that's absolutely awesome. They think they will be back in January. See, I, I don't have a Tom to pop up comments. I'm my own Tom. I should get a shirt that says I'm my own Tom. I think that would be hilarious. Um, also, Gina, I hope you're having a fine lunch today because you know, lunch is, it's, it's the most important meal of the day. I don't know if that's true, but oh, all of your comments look so good on my new big monitor. You have no idea. You really don't. Actually, I think if you've, yeah, uh, I've gotten some pictures behind, but um, yeah. Okay. That's my daughter texting me. She landed. She's fine. Okay. Coming out now. I, I don't think I'm going to do another one because I have this idea. It may or may not work. So I think I can turn my fuse off. All right. And I'm going to show you what else I have today. Okay. Also, I, okay. The, so yeah, the story about the bra, um, they're coming and I don't have a good bra and I don't know where it is. So that we're going to have to figure out. Okay. I'm going to take this out of here. Oh, did I get a little toner on there? I think I did because I wasn't fully covered, but that's okay because what I'm going to take out of this piece doesn't need to be the full panel. All right, so we're setting you here and let me show you this. Okay, I also want to tell you something. The Gina K Intercut is so great for also putting on something to flatten it out. I'm going to be bringing this out in a second, but I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, go dog go. We're going to we're going to read stories now. So, everyone, relax. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, welcome everyone. Great to have you here and uh well, there you go. So I have this called the bubble burst plate and it's pretty bubbly and in fact, let me poke out holes where I see them. Okay, this is a very bubbly plate which I thought would be really cute for the background of a champagne card greeting type of thing. Um, so what I did was I took three of these and cut them out before I went live today which was, <laughs> this is my flattening book, yes. Um, before I went live so that I didn't have to cut them all on camera. And I made, it's a little sticky, <laughs> I made a panel of just the bubbles. Now what I want to do is I I want to do some paper piecing, which mm, I, I, you know, it, it's going to be a, a little, a little to watch, but I feel like this could be really fun for the background and have the champagne glass on top. All right, so that's, that's the plan. So let's peel this off first and see Oh my gosh, look at that. Now that is a piece of paper. Oh my goodness. You know what's so cool about this uh, This gold, is it called gold sequin? Um, it just has many different colors happening at once and I love it, okay? So there's that. Now, I also need to get, because this is kind of in two parts, I need to get, oh, I need to get some cardstock. Hold, hold tight, all right. Uh, I'm going to cut this over here and I'll be right back. Let's go like this. Okay. 
see, I actually have my crappy bra on today, and this is just, this is not good. Hey, Libby, good to see you here. Okay, um, this I'm going to set aside because I want to build on here, okay? So we're going to put you here. I hope that I didn't bite off more than I can chew today, but never say never. All right, let me grab my die cut machine. Okay. All right, now I wanna check my settings here because when I use my intricut, when I am using the Nina Solar White Classic Crest, I do this setting, die cut and a minus three. Got a resource for you. Jennifer McGuire, when she got this machine and started playing with it, she created a guide on her, just take it off. She, she has a guide on her blog for every type of paper or folder or whatever. And I will add that link below um, because Jennifer, you know, she works, she works it out. And what's cool about that here for this one, I just need die cut and zero. Um, because the setting that I love for Nina Classic Crest Solar White, which is really heavy, um, that, let's see, let's get you centered. There's my anal retentive crafter. Um, I've got a setting for that that I'm going to share with you in a minute. Okay, let's come wide because this machine, oh, see, now we're a little out of my, I don't want you to see my messy desk. I just want you to see that. Okay, so plates. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm going to put press and seal on here. I haven't decided yet, but I do know this. The things that I am focusing on here mostly are going to just be these three circles. I don't even know if I'm going to do the full thing. So the fact that I kind of messed up here a little, oh, no, it looks like I'll get them all. I'm going to pop this in. Oh, don't move. I don't want it to move at all. I should tape it, but I think it will be fine. My fingers, <laughs> my fingers are sticky. Okay. I'll tell you what, i tell you what. Okay. Yes, Jennifer, it's just, it's just on her uh, website blog post that she did. And it's great. I'm going to stand up for this because I hate sitting to crank. But this is plenty of pressure for the deco foil toner front, right? It's very nice. It's very, um, Oh, you can see where I accidentally cut in there. Can you see that? No, I don't think you can. Um, while I'm here though, I, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna grab my, uh, ouch. Also, if you're just joining me or you've never you've never been here on a live before, what I want you to know is it's not heavy, it's not edited. So um, I do, I do edit myself, of course. I try not to, I try not to swear. <laughs> want to keep those advertising dollars. Now I'm going to flip this over, but I don't know. Some of it, okay, some of them can, oh gosh, it cuts so well. That's fine. You know what? We've got them all. It's going to be fine. The difference with what I'm doing today, these little friends, um, they're going to be so easy to pick up and find because I don't need the little pieces. In fact, let me, let me just move that for a second. There we go. I don't need the little pieces. I'll just pop these out because I'm gonna fill in the parts that need it. Now it might take a few, but that's why I thought maybe, maybe I won't do anything other than these sort of insides. Gina, this cuts so well, cut right through. Okay, get in there. Oh, I think I just poked a hole in one of them. That's okay, gonna bend. <laughs> There's a lot happening. We. I can't lose these. Gina, how did you do this live? All right, we're gonna we're gonna lift this from this from the inside here and I'll just pull it out because I feel like then I will know what I have. Yeah, they all came out, everything that I want, so that's good. All right, we're gonna do that. Good. I'm gonna set this aside for now and this has to stay, but I wanted to show you. I, you know, the small pieces would be amazing as shaker fill if you glued them from side to side. You know what I mean, like front to back? But I'm not gonna do all of these. I'm only gonna do a few of them. So let's see here, you go through like that. All right, I'll come back to this in a second. Okay, I think I have enough. Now, what I wanna show you though, this is, okay, we gotta save them. 
So we're going to slide everything here and try not to blow on it, okay? I only need a few because I'm not doing the whole panel. Also, I have glue on my fingers. Come here. All right, you guys go. My shiny fill. Now, no one sneeze <laughs> because then I just need the big friends like that. This will be great. Okay, we're coming back around in a second. And now I don't need any of those. So I'll get you guys off. I know this is exactly the moment someone would sneeze, right? But I wanted to cut out a couple more things to show you because what is so crazy, there we go, is how well this is going to cut on my white cardstock too. Because if I'm going to do a shaker, <laughs> gee, I'm not as smooth as Gina. I try. I try so hard. Okay, I'm going to come around and I'm going to go to minus three. Is that the one? Now check this out. I want to cut a few layers of my, I'm going to flip this by the way, because I kind of flip it every time. Well, I guess that wasn't much use, but there you go. <laughs> Throw it back over there. Um, I am going to cut out, and I'm saving you. And I've already cut a few, but I'm going to cut some more layers of this. And actually, I want to try to get as many in here as possible. But what's nice about this is the heavy 110 day uh, cardstock. <laughs> I am smooth as silk. And I, I actually yesterday, oh, I think it needs to be on minus two. Forgive my head. I was texting Gina yesterday and I said to her, <laughs> the cuts on this are better than what I'm getting. Uh, this bra is going to kill me. Uh, on my Empress, in terms of just being so clean and no hairs, and now I don't need the center. Like they're just, they've just been great. And that's what's nice is you can adjust your pressure based on whatever you want to do. I use my electric machine as well, and I love it. But I was really surprised. I don't think I can use this one again just to how clean it is. So we're going to do this one more time. And I guess I'll take this because I'm going to need a little more cardstock and I'll cut this as well. Okay. Anyway, it's good to have you all here. You know, thank you. Thank you for being here today. I got some die cutting happening. I don't have to hold it, but I do. It's just force of habit. All right. Okay. So now I am going to take this off and there you go. Patented technique. I could save these insides for something, but right now that is not what I'm going to do. So let's move this for now and let's do a few things. Okay. Um, okay. Here we go. There we go. Coming out, sticking. There we go. All right, so let's, uh, let's make a note card and see if I can get some of this going because what I have now, check it out. I have a whole bunch of glasses and I think I can grab my, this friend, because I'm just gonna make my note card first. And in fact, you know what? I didn't need this heavy of cardstock. If you if you've got a panel, right, and this is going to be a full panel size, you can use a lighter weight thing. Um, Stacy, I don't know the intercut. I don't know the weight, but it is. It's not hard for me to lift it. Um, like I can lift it. It it doesn't feel that heavy. I I want to say maybe it's twelve pounds. Gina, do you know? She does. <laughs> she is. She's been asked this before, but I can't guarantee that Gina will be here for the whole live. Um, but I think it says on her website. So I think, uh, yeah, I think there's that. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's going to be such a hot mess when, uh, when the Pioneer Press shows up, but I think they want that because you know, this room isn't like the fanciest. Don't get me wrong. I friggin' love it in here, but, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. Okay. Gina says, survey says, 11 pounds for the intricate, which is probably why I can easily tilt it up to show you the dial setting. Um, okay, Molly, I'm going to keep it real. Um, that way, uh, where's my tape? 
uh, it's not it's not that hard on my wrist, but it is heavy um, in terms of like putting it on, like if you wanna flatten something, and I love that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I need this back. Okay, um, and you know, here's, here's another thing I gotta do. This cardstock is so heavy uh, that I gotta tape it up higher. It's just so heavy. All right, there we go. Now, this should land right on top like that. See that? We're nice and even, Steven. Right? That's good. That Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, I guess I could take a sliver off of my actual note card. I'm trying to see because I want to make sure. Eh, hold tight. I'm going to sliver a tiny bit. Hold on. Just, I'm talking literally like one thirty second. Here we go. Okay. It is a really cute, uh, it's a cute little uh, cover plate, isn't it? Now, I have, mm, no, no, I have to use glue because I don't want glue everywhere um, on here. I just want to fill in a few places. So here, I'm basically going to go on the outside. This is pretty easy to use. These little bottles are great. Um, it lets you put down a really nice thin strip. And if you have wrist issues of any kind, and I do, I mean, so funny. I can gain all the weight in the world, but the wrists stay the same. Bingo, bonus. Um, but I do have wrist issues in a, this is such an easy bottle to use. It's, it's, it's my go-to. Then all I'll do, look at me, I'm just bubbling. I'm just bubbling around because just putting enough in here to hold things down will be fine. And once I get to uh, placing in the pieces too, we're, we're gonna have, we're gonna have all kinds of glue things happening. So I'm just basically putting a few all around and that's our adhesive. I will tell you off camera, when I glued these together, I decided to use spray glue, which I really am moving away from. But when I use spray glue, I wear an N95 mask um, every time. I don't mess around with it. I, I do it in a corner of this room and then I walk away from it while I hold my breath. Um, just just to keep be safe, but boy, it's, it's just so fast. Um, you know, Janet, the glue press is an, a really great tool. I had some issues with wrist pain. Um, it's a bigger grip and it's just when you have uh, issues that are specific to uh, basically for me working as a graphic designer and pointing and clicking, it just, it was not a good fit. I used it, I tried it, I and, and it, yeah, I had some pain issues. And I know really quickly when, when something is, isn't going to be right. Um, and, but it's great. I mean, I've seen people using it and absolutely love it. Um, so, you know, whatever, whatever adhesive you get, you know me. I say adhese all the things, okay? So here we go. We're going to use our this guy because this is my favorite thing in the world to do. And if you've never, if you've, if you've ever had trouble like filling things up, oh, Gina uses it with her hairspray. That's so funny. Um, I'm telling you, use the corner of your misty or something, okay? Because mm, we're gonna, it, because you will uh, line things up so much easier. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna take this off screen for a minute, put it back underneath my. Uh, the intercut because we're gonna see about doing the shaker element. Okay, that way I know the glue's on there. Here's what I'm thinking. Now let me get a little piece of, uh, what is it that I need? Uh, hold tight. <laughs> I need some paper. Also, I was uh, I was very confused because I'm looking I'm looking at my computer and my monitor my camera is on. Um, for my new monitor and I'm like, what the heck is that doing there? Okay, so here we go. We've got some layers that we're gonna have to build up, but I need some, what is it called? Acetate. Let's get some out here. 
this the one? Okay. But I need a little piece of acetate. Now see, I'm going to show you. This is so interesting. This is the one that I cut on my Empress, and it has more of a hair piece coming off here. Huh. So interesting. But that's okay. Happens on any die cut machine. I just got super clean cuts from the intricate. All right. I'm going to take out a little tiny piece. I don't need much because, well, I'm just going to make it straight because I'm going to try to create this little window. But the die that I'm using, it's not going to cut your window without bubbles. Now I thought about this and I'm like, well, I hope this works. Um, but I've seen other makers do this. So here's what we have to do. I'm going to pop this over the acetate and I think I'll just I don't know, I'll just tape it into place so I don't mess it up. And then I'm going to take a Sharpie. <laughs> and actually, do I want to do a Sharpie? I want to see if this works. Is that permanent? No. Well, actually, look how fat this is. Would that, well, that's, I think it'll be fine. I'm going to cut my, my window. <laughs> okay. So the only way I can do this that I, you know what? I feel like that's too fat. I'll make it work. I'm going to do this because I have to create a window that's going to fit. Now I think, look at that. I got some, uh, I got some schmutz from the inside. Come here now. There you go. I think this will work. We'll see. There we go. I really just need a guide so that I can glue this in. Now, if it smears to high heaven, well, then I guess I'll cry, but I think it will be okay. See, Zan, I feel like if you have trouble with small things, it might be great for you. I have trouble with bigger things and it's just, it's just a difference, right? Um, I think I'm going to cut here. All I want to do is get right on that line like that. Well, I think I nailed that one. Um, let's come to the inside a little bit. This is so hard for me to see, but we're going to do it. We're making our window that should technically fit right inside my little glass. See how I... <laughs> When I said I may have bit off more than I can chew today, I wasn't kidding. I may have, I may have bit off more than I can chew. Okay, I'm gonna take that little edge off there because if I did this right, oh my gosh. Okay, come here. And I'm gonna have to do it again for the backer, but here we go. Let's see. Will this fit? Survey says take a little more off. I'm gonna take my smaller scissors. Okay, this is where I really do wish I had some of those uh, jeweler, jeweler glasses. All right, but I'm going to tell you, this is where I can't get it. Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay, now, how, how's everyone doing out there? Is this, is this just riveting? Do I have any more funny stories about losing bras? Oh my gosh, I tell you what. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to make the frame. Oh, any frame, any tips for not losing the glue tip pen? You know what? Someone gave me a really cute um, pin cushion and I don't know where it is. You can put it in a pin cushion. A lot of times I will say I have been just lucky um, that I haven't lost it. But here I'm gonna take my Connect glue I'm just going to go around, but I want it to get just a tiny bit tacky because, right, I don't want to have, um, I don't want to have any oozing. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. A lot of times what I do with this, and by the way, this is a pin that someone sent me and it was really cute and it had all these little topper pieces, but I took those off because my bottle kept tipping over, but I have never had a this bottle, this is the same bottle that I've been using and look, I'm out, I gotta get some more. Um, I have more, I just have to fill it up. Uh, it, yeah, it, oh, you could put it on a magnet. I just saw Beth do uh, mention that. That's actually a really good tip. Um, but I've never had it, I've never lost it and I've also never had it dry out. And so it makes me very happy. And now we're just gonna drop that down and let it sit for a second. I'm not gonna squeeze or do anything wild, although I think I have to push that over a little bit. 
So this is how I'm making my window from a shaker, okay? And that's it. Um, this could come down. A t oh gosh, Kathy, just leave it alone. Walk away. So a lot of times with liquid glue, just give it a second, right? I'm gonna give it a second. Um, pin cushion is a good idea though. I really do have a super charming one. Um, <clears throat> I just have misplaced it. It's probably with my bra. Thank you, Janine. Um, okay, so I think that's good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build, well, you know what, while that's doing that, I can do, let's see, one. How do I wanna do this? Yes, because it goes that way. Mm, now I'm getting confused. I'm gonna stack a few more together. And again, this is another thing that with spray glue, I'm sure would be really fast, but you know what? I don't, I don't wanna be fast. I wanna be efficient. And actually, this is another one that I cut with my other machine and I've got a little hair in there. You know what I mean by that, right? Like a little, just a little extra piece of cardstock hair. There we go, there we go, you're fine. But we're doing this for dimension. And if I need to do one more, I will, but I don't think that I will. I think this will be enough. You can do as many as you want to make a little shaker, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna build up some dimension here. Yep, I think. All right, glue those together. A simple shape die like this too is pretty easy to work with. Um, and that's why if I'm gonna do a shaker shape like this, it has to be kind of easy. And there we go. Let's see, I'm pretty sure this will be fine now. Yep. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna glue this guy on top of this guy. So we're just making some layers, all right? Paper fiber, yes, that's what it is. It's not, you know, I call them paper hairs. There it is again, come here, you. All right, uh, while I've got my captive audience here, also, good to have you. Great, great for you to be here over lunch. Tomorrow, at 11 a.m. Mountain, which I believe for me is noon central, Concord and Ninth is having a fun little online live event called Favorite Things. And me and my friend Callie, who's here, um, and a bunch of other friends are gonna be popping in to share some of our favorite products, our favorite bundles from the year. And the one I'm sharing tomorrow, I'm very excited about because I've never done a, I've never shared a card from it. I filmed a video for it and I have to get that video edited at some point, but we're just gonna be sharing some of our favorite things and I think it's gonna be fun and I am going to send out a reminder in my newsletter tonight, but I'll also pop a link to that live stream for tomorrow. So now what we're starting to do here, we're getting some dimension. I wish Laura was here because then she could sing dimension is life. She's the best. She's the best. Okay. And I'll just let that sit again. We're still going. We got to get two more because I need to have enough uh, dimension, actually, once you get over here, so that I can do a shaker fill. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be something. I think it could be good. We'll see. I have more paper fiber on that one too. All right. We're good. Going to make it work. But see, see how easy this glue is? Ew, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Anyway, what else do I have to tell you today? I, 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 uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have much. Um, my grandkitty is here, and I love him so much. But he doesn't, he doesn't love me like he loves her. My daughter. He's my daughter's cat. It's different. Like he tolerates us, and he's, he's nice, you know. And I. When he gives me invitations for love, I take them. They come. They're far and few, they're few and far between. But um, he doesn't love me like he loves her, and that's okay. Okay, here we go. So now this is the final piece to this. I haven't decided yet what the background is going to be, but you know what? When it comes to me, it will come to me. See, I don't, I don't have a plan when I start. I mean, I have a plan, obviously. Hey, Jennifer. Well, hello, lovely friend. <laughs> Jennifer, um, Jennifer McGuire, I was mentioning you. Your ears were burning. I was talking about your blog post 
about the intricut that shows the different, you made a list of settings that is very helpful for anyone who has the machine and says, hey, I want to do this. What's the setting? And uh, it's very helpful, very helpful. So we're going to be linking that up, Jen, because you know <laughs> this is the place to be. Okay, Jennifer, I'm making a very involved card, so please enjoy. Anywho, um, other than that, I think this is enough, but I don't know. Do we need more? Did I put that on that? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Okay, here we go. So what we have here is a baby shaker. Okay, it's a little baby shaker. And I feel like, ah, oh gosh, I think that's close to being enough. Now, some of you might say, why wouldn't you do um, like uh, fun foam? And my answer is, I don't have any. <laughs> you know, that's really it. It's not because I'm anti fun foam. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pro fun foam. But I, yeah, I don't have any. So we're gonna put this here. And if I feel like I need more, I'll do more. But now, mm, now I'm gonna bring this out because it's been pressing, okay? There we go. And I'm going to fill in some of my pattern, but I'm not gonna fill in the whole thing because I don't, I don't want to. So let's see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna get my, well, let me use, I'm going to use Gina's tool because it's white and it's tall. Here we go. There we go. Okay. All I'm going to do is fill in a few of these things. I'm going to do it with liquid glue. Okay. So Gina, watch the technique here because I watched you very closely last night. I'm just going to do a few to start because I want to see how it's going to look when it's inlaid. Now, it doesn't matter that I don't have this like perfect um, placement here, right? Because all I'm going to do is just say, hey, meaning to choose from, I'm just, I'm just wedging it in, right? And it'll glue in there. And then you can take your little picket tool and just press it in, okay? Ooh, I got a little glue on that. Yeah, that's okay. Um, and then here, let's take one here. I just wanted to have some shine. Now, one of the things too that can happen when you are live is, you get things, get out of there. What are you doing in there? Is that it might not look great, but we'll see. I got, I got plans. All right, we're just gonna do that. Just get a few in there. I really just wanted to have more bubbles, you know? All right, you go there, press. And let's just work our way around, press. All these guys are here, ready to be used. Oh, that just came off because I have so much glue on my finger. Get in there. Pick you and go. There we go. All right. So much glue on my fingers right now. Um, We're working our way. Get in there. There we go. It's going to come up with my finger. No, we're good. All right. See, it has a little dimension. And so I'm going to push you in. I want to get it into there, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, pressing you down. So that's what we're doing. We're just adding a little, a little guy here. And we're thinking about life and bras and all those things. So you just, you just paper piece. And, or yeah, paper piece, or what was the debate last night? Was it, is it called paper piecing? It, it is, I mean, anytime you're, I guess putting something into something else, right? You got you got the paper piece. All right. So there we go. We got the first one in. And it's very shiny and I'm just going to kind of tuck it around the edge to give it a nice little burnish. So see that? Very pretty. And actually, you know what? We can zoom in a little more. Inlay. Inlay. I gr I, gl I glance up and I see the following things. Bras are no fun and inlay. Also, for those of you who, if there's any questions you have that I don't see because a lot of times I'm looking down, right? And I don't have, I don't have a Tom. I am my own Tom. Uh, I will always be happy to answer your questions after any live stream, uh, both in the comments, but you can always just email me at kathy at kathyzilski.com. That's actually the email that I pay attention to the most. Not that I don't pay attention to the others, although sometimes, you know. Uh, 
but I always answer them there. So that way, if there's a question, you know, it's going to be there. All right. See what I mean, though, by <laughs> writing the check? I, I got this. I mean, there's a lot happening here. There's a lot, but I love it. All right, here we go. Taking more in. See, I guess the press and seal, it doesn't make a huge difference because there's no way I would do all these dots, right? I'm just doing, just doing three up top and then we'll see. We'll see what happens because I might keep this more minimal uh, once I get my uh, shaker made. All right, there we go. Let's see, what else is happening? Oh, there are more things happening. This Friday, uh, there is going to be a live on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel for December, which will be fun. And uh, you should tune in because it's fun and it's a good time. And then in the afternoon, after the live, I am going to do a premiere of my next kit unboxing, which I filmed yesterday. It was so fun. I'm going to give you one hint for the kit. It's not, it's not because of the kit, but I just went in a direction that I could not stop myself. And that direction is purple. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I got onto a purple color scheme and I couldn't stop using it. And I absolutely love the cards I made. So uh, look for that coming soon, Friday. Hey, I just saw someone from St. Paul, Minnesota. Well, hello. That's where I live. That's where I'm talking to you from here. Okay. I feel like right now, I'll go like this because here's what I don't know. All right, we're pushing you all in like that. Okay, nicely in. And now I have my little sparklies in here. Now here's what I'm not sure. Once I do my shaker, right? Oh, see the shaker's gonna cover that up. I didn't even need to do that one. Okay, interesting. Because I think what I'm going to do is this one and this one, this one, this one, this one. Then would that look like five or six? Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, what is tryptophobia? I don't, I don't know what that is. What is tryptophobia? Um, is it fear of purple? I don't know. I didn't need to do that top one, but here we go. We're going to make it work. Tryptophobia. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I thought about a diagonal, but you know what? At this point, because I've already placed some of these things in, I kind of have to commit, but it'll make sense or it won't. Fear of small holes. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Fear of small holes indeed. Um. Oh, I just poked that too hard, Gina. Oh, I broke my nib. I was pressing so hard, I gotta switch. That's all right. It's all right. Oh, that's why we have all the extra tools. Okay. I'm sorry, Jean. I think I have a backup. I know I have a backup, but I just pressed so hard. Um, that's a new term for me. Tryptophobia. Never heard it. Speaking of little bubbles, though, uh, today when I was uh, going to, I had to go to the post office. Thank you, Jean. I pressed too hard. I'm aggressive. I went to a post office. And I mailed some things to Simon, says stamp, so that they can have my card kit cards in the studio. And uh, there's a little wine shop in our little neighborhood. It's over in a place called St. Anthony Park. And I went out to dinner. Now, this is not... See, see you got to talk about other things when you're doing little things like this. Um, anywho, uh, we went out to dinner a couple weeks ago, which is rare. We don't go out a lot. And we went to this place because it's a very small little restaurant in Minneapolis called Tenet. Not to be confused with the movie with cute little Rob Pattinson. But anyway, we went out to dinner and it's a, it's a, they seat 12, I think, total. You can't, um, so it's a very small uh, place to be. And um, they serve you. You don't pick, uh, you don't pick what, uh, what you're going to eat. Anywho, it was delicious. And they brought out in the first course, you can also opt in for the wine menu. They brought out a wine called 42, 40, sorry, 49 M. It is a brute. It is a sparkling wine from the Loire Valley, I believe. I never, oh wait, what was the great idea? <laughs> sorry. Uh, 
And it, it was so delicious. I was shocked because I do not think that I like that sort of thing. Can I turn it upside down and make the top the bottom? Yes. Yep. You know what? That's what we're doing. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> so that was a great idea. Anyway, it um, they had a bottle of it at my little local wine shop in St. Anthony Park. So I brought it home so that we can have it on Christmas Eve when we host our family. Now, some of you... For those of you who have that disorder, watching this might not be your favorite thing. But trust me, stay with me. Stay with me. Yeah, Cindy, I get the best ideas from all of you. So let's see what that looks like. I bet it'll be great. And no one will have to know except for everyone here. All right, coming in. Get in there. There we go. Um, this is actually kind of nice on this tool because it has that little... Uh, scoring edge and it's kind of nice for just pushing it down and in and now we'll go like that and now we'll go like oh wow you are so smart so now all i have to do is those oh so good cindy thank you thank you oh deaf shelty mom yeah it was a chef's tasting menu and so they had six courses and they came out with all of these lovely things and it was delightful. It was delightful. Um, yeah, I, I, I only really remember the first course clearly, not because I had had, I just remember it was delicious. It was a crab bisque and, uh, oh, it was so good. The crab was so good in there. That is great. You just saved the day and now I feel so happy because look at that. Now everything's coming together better. But look at that shine. Now I could have done gold cardstock, but I didn't want to. I wanted to have that that sort of, you know, that shimmer and shine that you only get with the hot foil or with the heat reactive, you know what I mean, with the fancy foils. I wanted the fancy foils. And this is, this is my year coming up of I'm going to make sure that I use more of the foils that I have because I have a lot of foils, a lot of foils. And I think it's time to really get and play with them. So, and again, I do apologize that this wine glass is not in stock, but they said it will be back in stock by next Friday. So, yeah, I can use that other one too. I mean, I'm not making two cards today. What time is it? Oh my gosh. Okay. We got to do it. We got to get there. That's why I told um, Molly, don't come, don't come before 1.30 because I will not be able to answer the door. Franklin might, but he doesn't have that skill set. All right. So you can kind of see how this is a very Zen process and that's all we're going to do. I'm not filling in for the edges. And that way, too, you know, we're going to get that texture. Um, and I think it's going to be just lovely. All right. Or do I leave it to have it be an odd? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it will be an odd number. Okay. Hold. Hold that thought, people. Coming in and in. All right. There we go. Um, one little thing, too, that I want to share with you. Um, I do this all the time. When I'm done for the time being gl gluing, I always take a tissue and just grab and make sure that nothing's on there. And then when I put my pin back in, <laughs> uh, it's a skill set that I have. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, when I put my pin back in, then the bottle top is all clean. And there's your neat nick tip from the anal retentive crafter. Okay. Get you in there. Okay. Yeah, I like burnishing it down like that. Okay. And we're almost done with our paper inlay. All right. Get there. I don't want to break another tip because I don't think I have a backup. <laughs> I am aggressive with my tips or enthusiastic as I saw earlier. Um, all right. How's it going out there? I... I, I Oh, you know what? I am going to figure out how to do sending out cards because I don't, I have so many cards. I don't need all the cards that I make. And I am going to be figuring out a way to incorporate that. Oh my goodness. Flip over into my lives. In fact, I could start today. I, I don't know. It depends. Wait until the card's done. Because if you don't love it, then you might be like, well, that's not my favorite card. I wish... I wish I had one from last week. 
kind of depends on what my moderators think. Because last, because, um, you know, that would be them having to pick people. And we haven't talked about that in advance. You can totally do it. Okay, how about this? Emma, today I'm going to assign the task to you. So here's how it's going to go. Just like, uh, just like my sweet friend Gina, uh, any comment that you leave today is, is for you. Um, uh, and I would say that's all you need to do. Leave a comment. And then Emma is going to pick someone randomly from the comments. And then all you have to do, once we post your name here in the chat at the end, if, as long as I remember, because this is new, um, is to send me your mailing address. So we'll do that today. Let's do it. Thanks, Emma. And then next week, Beth, we'll just switch off. All right. So now we're in, we're good. And we're in the place. So the next thing we have to do, I'm not going to do more because I think this is going to, it, it's going to be really cute too once I get the whatever. The question though, should I do a flat gold background? Check this out. Ooh. Do I have some? I do. I do, I do, I do. Because what this would do, it will give my sequins, and I have, oh, you know what I have? Well, I might just do gold, but I also, I do have some iridescent gold sequins. So let's trace again, and let's make a backer for our shaker. I think gold will be really nice. I'm going to do it this time with a pencil, because I don't like, I don't like pens. All right, let's go around, around the mountain, like that, okay? Yes, this, this is, this is, uh, we're going all in. But I want to find these sequins, and I'm not, I'm going to have to pull out my tray, because they're very cool. They have this kind of vibe. Oh, and if I'm smart here, and I might not be, we'll see. So I want to be just right to the inside here. And I guess if I were focused more on teaching today, which I just feel like I'm just hanging on by the skin of my teeth, this is this is a way you could turn any shape into a shaker that didn't have a backer that matched it perfectly. Does that make sense? Because here, these are really nice scissors, by the way. Okay, so here the backer is going to be gold. But check out these check out these sequins. I hope they're here. Uh, sequin drawer. Oh, I hope they're in here. Let me see. I think they are. Hold on. Okay, so I got this bead tray. I only do this because Jennifer McGuire does this, and if she tells me to do something, yep. So these have a similar iridescence to the foil, and I want to use them. Okay. All right. Put you back. But I don't want to have too many. Um, I want to have enough. And I guess I could put a few glued down. Let's do that. Still, I still haven't done my, uh, my greeting, but the greeting's going to be really quick. As long as I'm done by 1.30, I'm golden. All right. How are we doing out there? Welcome. Welcome, all. Um, I think I will put a few on here because... Oh, and it, I did lose my... Okay, I'll put just a few here so that they actually stay up there. And I learned that from watching Gina, where you just say, I'm going to have a couple that never move so that my shaker actually has a little. And I'll just make sure there's smaller ones like that. Oh. Now, will things get hung up on them? Doesn't really matter, right? We're just going to say, you, uh, you, oh, Boop, sorry. Sorry about that. Boop. What was my husband when he when he did the live stream? Does she say boom? I can't remember. Okay. I'm just gonna put a few and let them sit for a minute, okay? And then we're gonna flip you over and we'll just we'll put some we'll put some sequins in. Uh like you know, the I don't want too many, but I wanna have enough. So let's just and I don't want them to be that way. I want them to be the other way, but maybe, maybe that will be enough because it's, there's not a lot of room to shake. Oh, Vicki Donnelly. Yes. 
I got some nibs. I was going to I was going to email you Vicky and say the nibs have landed. The nibs have landed. And uh I'm in Nib Central. Uh for those of you who don't know, I I change out all the nibs on my Copic markers and my friend Vicky didn't like hers and she sent them all to me. All right, so see our little shine here. I still may I we'll see. I just wanted to have something bubbly and shiny, but let's add some glue now around the edge here. I hope this is right. Did I, I didn't really measure it, but we're gonna let it get a little tacky, okay? And the thing that's kind of nice about using glue for this as opposed to shaker strips, you know, sometimes when, when you're doing your shakers and you take off your shaker strips or whatever strips you use, and then all of a sudden your sequins pop up onto your, onto your strip. That has happened to me more than I care to admit, and uh, this makes it pretty easy. So I think these are good. And then we're gonna do this. Like I said, this is this is a little more than I thought I was gonna do today, but all right. Now, ooh, we are very close. There we go. I'm gonna wipe away some of the excess and I'm gonna put my little brick on the slide and just let it adhere. While that's adhering, let's take this little friend you know, I should cut this apart. I've used this before, but uh, we're gonna do this again. All right, we're, we're right at one. This is pretty easy though, I think. I'm gonna say cut, cut, cut. And um, I'll just put you up there and pick you up later. I'm not gonna detach these. I'm going to take one of these and cut out with the gold that's left over while that's gluing. Do I have a piece though? I do wanna have this. You know what, rather than pull out my other die cut machine, I'm just gonna run this through off camera because I don't have room over here. So hold tight here. I'm gonna run that through, get on there to have a banner. Okay. See, I think there's a place for uh, many kinds of things in your in your studio one of the things that i love is i love having both manual and electric die cut machines and sometimes for something like this where i <laughs> i've just got so many things happening um i don't have room to move everything out of the way okay so there's that now i thought i had one little scrap of gold do i oh, i thought i did is it right there yes it is all right, so here's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to do just a general cheers. I'm just going to cut that piece really quick. All right, and again, oh, line it up and run it through. All right, let's go. Oh, I don't need to get out of there. There we go. All right, and there we go. Okay. So, there we go. Let's look at the comments. Yes, Elizabeth Ward. That is the company that makes the bead contain or makes the bead storage. Also, I know that if you just are interested in having um oh, what is it called? If you're just interested in having just these little containers, I know that this calls for confetti also carries those, which is kind of nice. Um and they carry the sequins that I'm using today. But I, I'll update links afterwards and I'll put, I, I don't know if I have the Elizabeth Ward. Uh, Simon used to sell them and then, then they don't. And so I have a link to Amazon. I try not to link to Amazon if I can at all avoid it. So if anyone else knows of another source, um, be sure to let me know. Oh, and there's my little shaker with my bubbly. So it's, oh, I think that looks really good. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So now we got that. And the thing is too, I mean, that's a lot of, that's a lot of bubbles happening. I could pop this too. And I might just to give it even more separation from the background, but let's glue this on. I'm going to pop the letters out. Okay. It's this, wait, no, come here, Gina, you come back here. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's get this out. I, I want to save the center of the R though. That is called the counter. So R, you stay right where we need you. Okay. And then 
we will glue this on. I mean, it's funky, right? It's funky. And I wanted to make something funky, but I do think, so here's the thing, when you have a busy background like this, if you want to add a little foam to separate your graphic element from the background, that's one good idea because then it will just give it a little more separation by having a shadow there. All right. Okay, and let's get, wait, is that the right way? Like this. I love these little banners. Someone actually gave me a great idea. They said, oh, don't slide it. They said, Kathy, you should make more words that, that match with these banners. And I think I'm totally going to do that um, in an upcoming release because I like that idea and I love these banners. Okay, I don't know what happened to my glass brick. There you go. Pressing you in. Get that little R. Look at this little guy, it's so tiny. I gotta save it. We have the tools, we can rebuild him. All right, there we go. Get in there. So yes, that's another that's another typography, typography term for you today. The counter, which is the centers of letters, of the letter forms. Um, Years ago, someone did a documentary on scrapbooking, and I'm going to tell you the story. And it was well done. It was a student film. I don't know where you can watch it. Um, I wish, I wish, but I was given a link in advance because I was interviewed as part of this documentary. Well, they also interviewed this woman. She was a graphic design, like she's older than me. She was super, I'm just going to say it, she was super snobby. And uh, like she went to a crop up in northern Minnesota where all these ladies were, you know, at a crop. You 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 do your scrapbooking and you enjoy your time together and you celebrate your memories, et cetera, et cetera. She was so rude to the ladies who were using like a one of those old machines that would cut out letters for you, like a I, I don't even know what it was. And she stood there in front of the machine and she said, So do you do you account for the counters? And the people looked at her like, what? And I remember thinking, you are the rudest person I've ever seen. Who cares about if you have the counters in your stickers? So I share that with you because I don't like designers that are snobs. Oh, I have another story for you. Uh, today, when I was getting this beautiful face ready, guess what I had under my chin? Four, four hairs that grew from last night. So, you know... It's part of, it's part of life. It's part of life and it happens. And I'm so glad that I had my other tweezers because let me tell you, these don't do a thing <laughs> for chin hairs. Oh, I got, I tell you, I, four, four of them. I'm not like that. And, and I remember in the, uh, in the, in the documentary, I actually said, listen, you know, I think that, I think that crafting is design work. It is nothing if not design work because anytime you place something in a space, you're designing something. And I just remember thinking that the lady was way ruder than that too. And she was under the guise of, I'm just trying to understand why people do this terrible hobby. It's like, what is your deal, lady? Crafting? We are wired to create. Whether we think we're any good at it, that's another story, you know. But we are wired to make things. And, uh, yeah, I just remember thinking, wow, lady. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is for a little separation. So look at this. Now, I mean, you know, this is, <laughs> this is a card. This is a card. There's a lot going on here, but we're, we're going for it. So now, all I have to do... I don't know how I'm going to photograph this either. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Okay, uh, a lot of tools happening here. Here we go. Also want to thank you for being here today. You uh, you have choices for what you do during lunch. You could watch, um, you know, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. You could, you could do a lot of things, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Um, all right, now, here we go. Thank you again, Cindy, for that awesome tip about flipping this. Um, and yeah, when as soon as this is done, I'm going to have Emma tell me who it is. I'll have to keep an eye on the comments, um, and then I'll pop your name up. But I hope you like this, and I hope, it, and I'll try to send it to you nicely in a 
in an envelope that won't get smushed. Okay, because this is a thick card. And here we go. We're going to, oh, this is so easy to line up because all you got to do is split the middle, right? Oh, come on. There we go. Right like that. Get in the middle. Okay. All right. And press. Oh my gosh. Where did my glass brick? Oh, it's right here. Tell you what. I think the glass bricks are back in stock. I could be wrong, but I swear I saw Jossie post the other day that they were back in stock. This is my favorite thing. This is one of my favorite things in my craft room because it's heavy. Okay. Okay. Ooh, now we're going to sit. Now we're going to sit. The Real Housewives of Minnesota, you know... <laughs> Gosh, mine would be so boring. It'd be like, tonight I'm drinking wine and eating potato chips. In fact, today, okay. see, this the that makes the card. When you put this on, it makes the card. I I love these banners so much. Okay, here we go. Um, last, this morning, I was, last night, okay, I'm not speaking very well. I didn't realize that I I'd had a bottle of wine that was already opened. And so I went to, um, oh, look at that. I went to open and I take it. I went to pour another glass and Dan's like, what you're, and I said, oh, I had another bottle open. And he looked at me and he goes, am I going to find bottles all over the house? I'm like, listen, I don't drink that much. Mostly I'll have a glass here and there of my favorite cheap red wine. But the fact that I had two bottles and I didn't even realize there was one sitting there. Oh, I'm telling you what. Sometimes you just gotta, well, you just gotta, I don't know. Okay, I'm, while this is adhering, I would like Emma to choose who is our winner. And she's going to do this randomly. I can guarantee you that she's going to go up and down in the comments. You know, that's the symbol for just randomly going up and down the comments. Um, yes, this is a glass brick. It's a paperweight and it is heavy. And when you have your liquid glue, you know, you want to give it that little bit of time. So I'm going to tidy up a few things here while I see who wins. Thank you, Emma. I'll keep my eyes in the comment. Also, you know what this makes me think of? Um, I don't know how many of you people follow uh, Bethadilly, Bethany, but one of the things that I absolutely loved uh, that she did, I don't know if she does it as much anymore, but she would do uh, her at the end of her video, a cleanup. And I just found it the most relaxing th thing. So Bethany, I know you're not out there today, but I loved that. All right, I'm still looking. She's picking. Uh, <laughs> okay, Emma, that's hilarious apparently she picked herself with her eyes closed because i've done this too where you just let it go up and down up and down and here we go we're gonna we're gonna zoom in here but i just got to keep an eye so i don't miss emma's comment i'm gonna zoom in here on my hot mess of a desk it is it is and okay wait emma crop mom 66 crop mom 66 you are to you're the first winner of a card giveaway. This little friend, this little funny shaker is coming to you. I will ship it to you. And all you need to do is email me at Kathy at Kathy, Dil Kathy, Kathy Dilsky. Kathy Dilsky. I'm not going to say the next word that's coming to mind, but Jennifer McGuire knows what it is. Um, all you have to do, CropMom66, is email me at Kathy at KathyZilski.com. I will get this out to you um, hopefully sooner than later. I'll try to send it in a hard side mailer so it does not get crunched. But, I mean, that's funky. Look at the, just, there's very varying levels of iridescence happening here. I mean, this is, this is next level. Now, so, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we'll see here. Uh, I'm going to take pictures of this little friend and, uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll make it look good. So yes, please email me and this is what we'll do going forward. I will, I will be like Gina. I will give away the cards because I certainly don't need to keep everything here. Um, I, I just have, I have too much, too many things, too many things in here. So that is what I have for today. Um, I wanted to say thank you for watching. Uh, I want to say uh, this little cute little flute will come back into stock. I will be updating my supply lists. And uh, yeah, I think 
I think that's all we have. Oh, it turned out great. I'll, I'll take pictures this afternoon. I know Molly's going to be showing up here about 1.30, so I will I will smile, and I guess this bra is going to have to do. I think I'm going to run out to my car and see. But anyway, thanks for being here today. I hope you all have a great day. Again, reminder, tomorrow, Concord and 9th, noon central, they're having a fun thing on YouTube. And Friday, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to do a premiere of the latest card kit after Simon Says Stamp goes live. So it'll be probably one o'clock central time, I think. So anyway, have a, or maybe 1230. We'll see. I'll, I'll email you. I'll email you. Subscribe to my newsletter. The link is in the description. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. And I will see you back here <laughs> with another card project soon. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today for my live stream. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in checking out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.